Hello kids, do you know how plants make their own food? No? Well, this video elaborates the process of photosynthesis, by which plants make their own food. Photosynthesis is the process used by plants to make their own food, or in more complex terms, it is the conversion of light energy into chemical energy by plants. This chemical energy is used by the plants for growth and nourishment. Photo means light and synthesis means putting together in Greek. When humans cook food, some essential things are required, including fire, water, vegetables, etc. Similarly, to make their food, plants also need some essential factors, including light, water, nutrients, soil, etc. Plants get light from the sun, water from the ground, and carbon dioxide from the air. All of these factors, including air, water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight, together help plants churn out their own food. Plants have tubes called xylem, located in the stems through which the water from the ground is sucked into the leaves. This system works similar to humans sucking liquids through a straw. The xylem is spread throughout the different parts of the plant, including the stem, branches, and all the way up to the leaves. The xylem transports vital nutrients to the entire plant. Xylems in the plant are like blood vessels in the human body that act as an important means of transportation of water and nutrients. Leaves on the plant have pores, very similar to the pores on the skin of our bodies. These pores are called stomata. These stomata are responsible for the exchange of gases. The carbon dioxide present in the air, which is responsible for photosynthesis, enters the plant through these stomata. Oxygen also comes out through these stomata. Leaves have important cells called mesophyll cells. These cells contain a green color component called chloroplast. This chloroplast is responsible for the green color of plants and leaves. Once the carbon dioxide and the water reach the chloroplasts in the presence of sunlight, the process of photosynthesis starts to take place. The following reaction takes place in the leaves of the plant during photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of light energy results in oxygen plus glucose or carbohydrates. The products formed are glucose and oxygen. Carbohydrates, which are a form of glucose, are synthesized from carbon dioxide and water. Glucose is used by the plants for their growth. Some of the glucose is used immediately, and the extra glucose, which is not used, is stored in the form of starch in the leaves. Some amount of this extra glucose is also stored in the roots of the plants. This extra glucose is used to perform photosynthesis when there is no sunlight. Oxygen is given out into the air through the stomata in the process of photosynthesis. The oxygen that is released is used by human beings to breathe during their respiration process. Ever wondered why this process is called photosynthesis? Well, the word photosynthesis is a combination of two Greek words, photo and synthesis. Photo means light in Greek and synthesis means putting together or combining. Hence, photosynthesis literally means combining water or carbon dioxide in the presence of light. So the essential factors for photosynthesis to take place include sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Underwater photosynthesis takes place at a slower pace than the normal photosynthesis. This is because energy from the sun is absorbed by the water layers and only some amount of energy actually reaches the plant. There are some plants which don't need the process of photosynthesis to grow. Such plants include mushroom, Venus flytraps, etc. Mushrooms get their food from the ground and from their surrounding areas. Venus flytraps trap and catch small insects which come near the leaves and eat them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more cool science videos.